What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, this time we're going back to the moon, and this is an Apollo 15 photo, and I'm going to show you guys that in a moment. Now, every now and then, um, a friend of mine, Taft Baker, he'll go on my Facebook Messenger, and he'll say, hey, take a look at this photo. You know, check it out, man. And, you know, I will. Of course, he made a joke out of this particular one because he said it looks like they had, like, child's toys all over the lunar surface or something like that. So I thought it was pretty funny. But what I did was <clears throat> I looked at the photos he had on Facebook and the enhancements that he did. Now, I want to show you those as well. But let me show you the photo we're talking about. It's right here. And you can see it up at the top here. It's uh, AS15-82-11178. So that is obviously Apollo 15. So I don't know about you guys, but every time I see these, these mountains in the back, absolute pure crap. You see all of this in the back. It seems like it's got like really no detail at all. Doesn't this sound familiar? They do the same thing to all the Martian photos. Same, same thing in these, anything that's got to do with Mars. Always the background is complete crap. And I was told by more than one person who claims that they worked or had a friend that worked for these, uh, the CGI department in NASA said, the background is always the money shot. Now, not, that's not always the case because we find some pretty bizarre things up close, right? Where the uh, rover might have been checking out the ground. But in this, I think they've been doing this since the Apollo missions. I think they've been fudging these things, and it's still carrying on to this day. And I'm not surprised, not in the least bit. Okay, so all of these in the background, you notice how they have, like, no detail? Nothing at all. You look in the back, complete, without any kind of detail whatsoever. Now, when you get to the foreground, you can see rocks. Looks like, you know, what you'd expect to see, right? Uh, in the back, after this area right here, down and even here you can see there's like these weird lines and stuff like that and i'm going to show you that in a moment but all up here complete crap i think i mean they could literally have a, 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 a like a house let's say you put a house there and you wanted to hide it they just put a mountain over it and just go over the whole photo just overlay this um right over a photo it's very easy to do back in the day right so even though they didn't have photoshop they did pretty much everything by hand and they could take a lot of detail out or before everybody started to get you know uh Photoshop and uh, and uh, software or enhancement software, uh, the public started getting a hold of it. They might have went over these photos because they had it before anybody else did. A lot of these uh, companies had these uh, uh, enhancement um, software long before the public did. So they might have just went over all of these and made it look good. Who knows, right? I wasn't there. I don't know. But it sounds, it, it could it, that could be the case. So anyway, I'm looking at this here. Okay, this is the photo we're looking at. I'm going to jump right into Photoshop. Again, this is the photo. This is the, this is the one I'm going to show you in a moment. Now, this is one of Taft Baker's um, enhancements. So this is not mine. I don't take any credit for this. Um, I asked him if I could use them. He said, yeah, have at it. Go ahead and uh, get going. Make a video. So um, here we are right here. And I'm looking at the back of this. I'm just like, wow, what is all that in the, the top here, right? So I gave it a little blur. So this way we can, it won't look too grainy especially while looking on a smaller device, because even if you do this, it's still it's going to look a little grainy. But what had me going there, what had me really looking, was this object right here. And there's something right here. You're going to see that in a moment, too. It's not really too much, but there's something actually there. Um, and you can see what I was talking about right here in the bottom. Some kind of weird something or other sitting in the ground. You can see these lines just going across. See that? It's like... Now, that usually doesn't happen in nature, at least as far as I'm concerned. I never see that. So let me show you the other photo he's got. It's a little bit darker, as you can see. But now check this top part out. And this is not what I'm talking about, guys. This is not the, uh, the craft that, you, that I mentioned in the, the title. Because this could be a structure, right, guys? This could be anything. And what they do is they blend it in so much without any detail, you're none the wiser. The public doesn't have a clue. And again, we've got these, these weird striations on the ground. But I want to tell you what got my attention. While I was looking at this photo, I'm going, wait a minute, hold on. What's this right here? This object in question, what is that laying on the surface? Now, again, it's, it's been blended into kind of like going to this hillside right here, all of this mess here. I'm not, I'm not believing that crap for a moment. Okay. So I looked at that, and then I looked at this one. Now I'm going, if you can only get like a cross between the two, that'd be perfect. But check this out. Now, there's much more to it. I'm going to show you that right now. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, again, big thanks to uh, Taff, you know, for letting me use his enhancements and, you know, the work he did on these. Pretty interesting stuff. Now, this is the one I've got, and I decided to enhance it myself. So, I did this here, and I'm going, whoa, hold on. 
let me move in here. Now, this object here now, I'm seeing a little bit better. It looks like there's some kind of design on the side here that's darker or it's a windows. I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. I'm just telling you what it appears to look like to me. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, wow, this is pretty cool. Look, it's, it's like it's symmetrical. You can see like one dot on this side and on, one on this side. Which, and you get something that goes like this. I was going to say what looks weird is that you got this kind of design. Goes off like this. This side goes like this. Well, actually does this. My bad on that. Let's do this. And, of course, this keeps going like this, and, of course, it'll go to the back. But it looks like it has some kind of design or windows or something to that effect right there. What the hell could that possibly be, guys? Now, <clears throat> let me show you what I got. <coughs> let me get a little drink here for some. But what do you guys think that is? Ah, oh, refreshing. Anyway, and check this out. So now I started getting into this a little bit more and more. And all I did was just went over this real quick with the burn tool. Just went over the whole thing. And this popped out even more so, this whole section. I'm going, hmm, what do you think that is? And again, these dots, even though you, you see plenty of them here, you can see them all over the place. See that? They just happen to be one here, one here, with this in the middle. So I'm going, okay, um, is that meant to do that? What's going on here? And you can see what looks like I said. It's got this like narrow rectangular front end, or whatever the hell that thing may be. But, and I'm going to go ahead and throw some filters on it. Now you can see this a little bit better. Now let me just show you something real quick. I'm just going to go back to the original. Now again, see how it's so blended? If you were to take anything, if you take all the black out of a photo, what happens? You literally take the depth out of the photo. Any Anybody who's into photography will tell you that. You notice how there's plenty of black, plenty of shadows, plenty of everything right here where these rocks are. So... You're telling me, and you can see where the shadows are right here. Check this out. You can see them going this way. Right there. These little rocks. Also, the, sh the shadows all going this direction. Well, wait a minute. Why isn't there any on here? There's none. I don't care. You, it, they're not that smooth that you're not going to see a little bit of shadow here, a little shadow here, a little shadow here. You, you can't tell me it's that smooth. You're not going to see that. I don't buy that. Especially how it looks like these are separate, and maybe there's like a valley in between the two of these. I don't know. You guys tell me. I'm just looking at them going, there's no detail whatsoever. And every now and then they'll put like these little things right here. Or they just happen to leave them in the photo, which could very well be. They could just leave them in there just to have some kind of a little bit of detail. But anyway, guys, what do you think this is? What do you think this thing is? Is it a structure? Is it a spacecraft? Is it some kind of weird craft? I don't know. Is it possible if this thing is of some kind of craft or whatever? And it's all pure speculation, you know that, because we can't vet it. Um, but if it is, how do we know that other life forms haven't been coming to this moon and this planet long before we were here? How do we know there has been spacecraft over X amount of thousands of years haven't crashed into this moon? So when you think about how small we really are, you can almost guarantee that there's life out there. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt in my mind. And I've showed you guys photos of this before, right here. Now, this is Lunar and Planetary Institute. Remember I told you how most of these are garbage? However, I believe these are the originals. Okay. And, of course, they're so low res, it's pitiful, right? But just barely zoom into this, and I've got this at 125%. Look at this area right here alone. Now, it looks like this buggy might have been closer than in this photo. It looks like it's moved down, so therefore this hillside right here, this hillside right here is now taller. So in other words, you're going down a hill. As you're going down the hill like this here, that's going to appear higher up, right? So if you look at this one, it looks like they're more higher up on the hill, so therefore this thing looks thicker. Whatever this thing is laying on the ground right here, right here, it looks like it's actually taller. So is it possible that hill that we're seeing in the other photo, we're only seeing the very top of that object. You can see something's laying right there, and it's completely taken out. Even all of this here, guys, you can see it. And now, don't get me wrong, it is pixelated, and you can see the compression marks and all that other stuff. That was intended. You can almost guarantee it, because uh, all of these, and there's something else here on the ground. I don't even know what that is. See that right there? It's white on the ground. Inside the actual footprint of the uh, uh, the uh, astronauts is right there. Um 
but you can see something right there. Just take your just take your regular. Uh, that's a little dusty. Take your magnifier and just look at it. There's something sitting right there. It's been completely blurred out, but it's there. And I believe that's what we're looking at right here. But just a slightly different angle. We may be only seeing the top of it because of, like I said, said hill kind of doing this. I mean, how do we know that some other ancient civilization haven't tried to, to fly and then crash into the moon? How do we know something from a long distance away just crashed into the moon, hoping they, I don't know, who knows, they ran out of fuel or something and, and went to go land on the moon and crash into it? You know, they say that the moon was probably a lot different than it is today. How do we know? We don't. I mean, they're all, it's all pure speculation, but it wouldn't surprise me. One, we've seen structures on the moon. We don't know if there's other people, you know, other life forms coming to this moon to visit the people that are on the moon. How do we know? We have no clue. We're only, like I said, our civilization is like a baby and it's learning how to walk and we're finding all kinds of crazy stuff. Now that we found something interesting, like a kid in the candy store, we're going crazy. Why do you think there's a suddenly a big bum rush to get out into space? We, let's go look at Europa, that moon there. Uh, how about Titan? How about Mars? How about this? All of a sudden, we're just going crazy. Why? If you found life forms or something intelligently made on the moon alone, why would you stop at the moon? It makes no sense to do that, right? That's just my theory, guys. That's just my input, my two cents. You guys can tell me what you think is going on. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.